Oh, how do I make this space look pretty? Maybe, maybe some leaves to make it look like organic and, and like hippie. I don't know. I don't really use crystals in my practice, but like, I mean, yeah, yeah, that's it. And I've got my tea just to, you know, make sure, make me, make me look relatable. Probably going to spill that later, but that's okay. Just as long as it looks really neat and put together and, but like still with enough personality, despite the fact that my actual desk looks like this. Hi friends and welcome back to my channel, 78 Degrees of Foolishness. Today we are doing an unboxing and I'm going to pretend I'm an ASMR channel the entire time. So it came packaged nice and safe in this beautiful box with this lovely custom sticky tape, which I'm going to throw out in the bin immediately after filming this. I am going to move my tea before I spill it. Does that ruin the aesthetic? Oh no, I forgot my scissors. The only tool that I need for every single unboxing, but always forget. Now you can watch me struggle instead of me editing this part out. Oh wow, isn't this pretty? Oh, how lovely. It's stunning. Oh, we have these beautiful details, which I just, I love because it's basically the creator making my video look way better than it otherwise would. We have this lovely sticker, which I'm probably going to lose. Let me take way too long to carefully open this, even though it's gonna ruin the paper regardless. Oh shit, I need my scissors again. So here she is in all her glory. This is a beautiful matte touch box with a magnetic flip. You know I'm going to do this at least three or four times to really emphasize the fact that it is a magnetic flip box. So I know you're all here to see the cards, but I'm going to talk about them as late in the video as possible. Let's first talk about the guidebook. So it's a great little white book uh, that I have not read so cannot comment on, but I'm going to try anyway. The Children of Litha. Be you creatures of day or monsters of night. Let us reveal the truths that lay beyond sight. As above, so below, as within, so without. Let us gather our strength and cast aside doubt. Actually, no joke, I really like that. I think that's really cool. Let's spend at least five, 10 minutes looking at this guidebook, even though what I know you're really here for is the cards. Okay, I know we're 15 minutes into the video, but now let's finally look at the cards. They've got this plastic wrap over them to keep them nice and safe and black edges. How cool. Now I don't have to waste time doing it myself. Although that makes me a little sad, I'm not gonna lie. Now it's sort of a regular sized tarot card. I've got the spacious tarot here. This is by Carrie Mallon. Um, and let me just line this up. Okay, so just for comparison's sake, you can see the Children of Lither is a little bit taller, but about the same width as the spacious tarot. I've also got the Rider Waite Smith deck here, which, oh, it's pretty much exactly the same as the classic Rider Waite Smith size. Uh, let me sort of do this several times over to emphasize the point that you've probably already ascertained for yourself. Okay, let's zoom in and take a good look at the cards, shall we? Oh no, now my frame isn't pretty. I'm gonna have to rearrange all my bits. We can't have a boring frame. Shit, my tea's going cold. Let me just tap on the box a few more times, just so you know that it's a sturdy box with a magnetic clip. Now the card stock, it's sort of, let me let me rub it for several minutes straight while trying to describe touch to you um, and I'll flick it a few times just to sort of try and demonstrate thickness even though I'm not really sure it, that works by a camera. We all know I like matte cards partly because they shuffle easier but also because they do they are easier to take Instagram photos with and that's important to me. Okay, so now let's take a look at the cards. This is The Fool. Just so stunning. Look at those colours. I love it. I'm not going to really talk about any of the symbolism because I'm not at all familiar with this deck, but it's really pretty. Wow, stunning. The Magician. So stunning. I really like this imagery. Really stunning. Ooh, the High Priestess. I love the pinks and the tentacles. I'm going to point out the most obvious things that jump out to me. Really stunning. The Empress. Wow, so stunning. Really stunning. Ooh, the Emperor, a really interesting card. The Hierophant, oh, so stunning. The Lovers, oh, it's like a fairy and a person, but then we've also got the snake. Really interesting. Now for our final shot, I am gonna have to zoom back out and readjust everything so it still looks pretty. 
that's all for this video. Thank you so much to my patrons over on Patreon, especially Laurie, Lynette Brown, and Livia. Oh, and shit, I forgot about my tea, which is absolutely cold by now, but it did serve its purpose, I suppose. Thank you.